Welcome back, folks. You got Nick with Country Ham Farms. Did you know it is illegal in the United States, well, my state anyway, I shouldn't say United States, to make wine for personal consumption? Okay. I'm going to teach you how to make regular old store bought juice and turn it into wine. First, you need your jug and your favorite bottle that you use for food consumption. All right. Today, we're working on Grand Greek. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a little trial run. Take a little bit and put it over in a little cup. What we're going to do here is jump start the yeast. You can use any yeast at your local store. Bread yeast, wine yeast, beer yeast. But I use a different yeast. And I use one full tablespoon. Sorry, I guess that's a teaspoon. Put it in the juice itself and let it get going. While that's working, I'm going to take some sugar here, and I'm going to use two cups. My funnel is small, so I've got to use eight quarter cups. We're just going to sit here and dump it in here. I'm talking about the yeast. I do use a yeast that is a little, that does provide a little bit more alcohol than the can. Then we're just going to take a half gallon of juice and pour it on in. Before I go any further, we're going to take this and we're going to shake it really good. We'll put the lid on the jug. We're going to get all that sugar mixed up. And it don't hurt to put some oxygen in what you want inside of it. You're uh, going to put on a mush in here. <laughs> That'll help get that uh, yeast jump started really well. And it's going to eat everything we put in. You know, up to a certain amount. The yeast I use after five days is roughly 20% alcohol per body. And it has been holding very true to what I'm doing, so that's what I'm going to be going with. Okay. And the next step, since we put two cups of sugar in, I'll have to pour, remove two cups of your juice that you're using. I actually pull out just a hair more. And we'll just set that to the side. We insert our funnel and pour it on down. What kind of juice are you using? The juice really don't matter. It just has to be 100% fruit juice. But I mean what you're doing now. <clears throat> what this, kind of juice? This is ocean spray. Sounds different. We're going to have to put the yeast in. I'm to pour it apart. You can see what it looks like. It's sitting in the fruit juice itself, and I got the yeast in there. It's coming alive, and I was getting... Do you have to stir started. that up? No, I just shake it a little bit. Pour that on down in there. Do you remember that little extra I told you I pulled out over two cups? We're going to put that back in to make sure we get all the yeast out of the cup that we can. All that in there. Not a good yumminess for everybody. Recap it and just do another shake. You should probably uh, tell them that you have made your first batch already and it turned out great. Yeah, your first batch does pretty good if you know, if you get everything done right. But there's sometimes when people do their own batches, their first batch is almost not edible. We got that done. Technically, the mixing is done. What we are going to do, we are going to take our rubber stopper. Put it in it and put our airlock in it. No, we don't have water in it yet since we're just showing and I didn't want to have to fill it up during this video. But your water level will be right here in the airlock. 
what that does is help your gases come up and they go through and escape and produce bubbles and it eventually comes out the top. You do not want to get any oxygen into your must while it's sitting here uh, brewing. It could take you between five and seven days and you'll be ready to bottle. And we'll pick the video up on the bottling aspect of it and I'll show you what we got going on then. As always, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to us, please. And also, share it. If you like this video, share it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this and bottle it. Simple as it can be. Stay tuned for our next project, Country Hemp Farms.